it, Gentleman moves to strike the last word. Recognized for five minutes. Chairman, I move to strike the last word and ask unanimous consent to revise and consent. Without objection, so ordered. Mr. Chairman, there is an issue of enormous consequence that I fear has not gotten the kind of discussion and attention that it needs from this body. And that has to do with the introduction of RBGH, Monsanto's bovine growth hormone, uh, into the marketplace and the impact that it is going to have on family farming, on animal health, and perhaps on human health. Also, I must tell you that I am extremely concerned about the role that the Food and Drug Administration has played in this entire process. And among many other concerns that I have is that at least three high-ranking members in the Food and Dr Drug Administration formerly were employed by the Monsanto Corporation and we believe may have played an important role in the whole approval process. Mr. Chairman, the simple fact of the matter is, is that at a time when we already have a milk surplus in the United States, we do not need bovine growth hormone, which is increasing milk production in increasing the surplus. The fact of the matter is that the Office of Management and Budget has estimated that because of the use of BST, there will be an increase in the federal deficit by $500 million over the next five years. Why do we need a synthetic hormone to increase milk production when we already have a milk surplus? Second of all, the facts are very clear that BST makes cows sick. It significantly increases the rate of mastitis in cows. With increased mastitis in cows, farmers are obliged to use more antibiotics. Why, in fact, would the American people want to consume milk from sicker cows than is presently the case? The Food and Drug Administration has said that antibiotics will control the problem and that it is, quote unquote, a manageable risk. But why do we need any risk at all when we already have a surplus of milk on the market? Mr. Chairman, in my state of Vermont, over the last 20 years, we have lost many, many family farms. And that's true all over this country. And the reason that we are losing family farms it is because the milk surplus is driving milk prices down and farmers in many instances are receiving 50 percent of the income that they did 15 years ago and they cannot survive on this income. For those of us who are concerned about the preservation of the family farm, it seems to me we must address this issue. And it is incomprehensible to me that in a time we hear so much discussion about the deficit that we are not addressing this issue. At a time when consumers are more and more concerned about the quality and the purity of the food that they are ingesting, it seems to me that when scientists have concerns about the BST residue that will remain in the finished product, the milk that we drink, it is an issue that we must address. Mr. Chairman, Monsanto is a multi-billion dollar corporation. They have spent $300 million on the development of this product. It seems to me that it would be appropriate for the United States Congress to begin to stand up for family farmers all over this country who have enormous, who have enormous concern about the impact of this development on their future. It seems to me imperative that the Congress stand up for consumers who are saying we want a pure product. We do not want cows to be injected with a synthetic hormone which makes them sicker so that Monsanto can make more money. Mr. Chairman, I have been asked to withdraw the amendment which I presented today and I will do so. I intend next week, however, to introduce a major piece of legislation which deals with the labeling issue 
that the FDA has done such a terrible job on. The labeling issue which says that consumers in America have the right to know whether the dairy product they're consuming comes from cows injected with BSD or whether it does not. Mr. Chairman, Gentleman's I would time hope has expired. I would ask for 30 seconds. Uh, yeah. Mr. Chairman, I move to strike Gentleman the last. Ask unanimous consent for 30 additional seconds. Is there objection? Jones recognized for 30 Chairman, additional seconds. Mr. Chairman, I would seconds. hope that the chairman of the committee will work with me in allowing more debate, more exploration of this terribly important issue that has not gotten the attention that it deserves. And I would hope that I will be able to work with Chairman Durbin further on this issue. For purpose, gentlemen, Illinois rise. I move to strike the last word. Jones recognized for five minutes. Though I may disagree with the gentleman from Vermont on his position on this issue, he certainly deserves an opportunity to be heard on his position. And I think uh, some of the questions he's raised uh, should be answered. Uh, I will work with him to try to achieve that. I'd be happy to. That uh, those of us on the Agriculture Committee have looked at this issue, and I want to assure the American public here and now that every drop of milk that they are drinking today and every drop of milk that a school child is drinking today, whether it comes from cows that have had the additive uh, or not, is healthful, wholesome, and delicious. And I hope that people will continue to drink milk because uh, no matter what some of these people say, all the milk is wholesome. Every cow that's ever Every cow that's ever given milk has BST or BGH naturally farming. There's no difference between what Monsanto has produced and what the cow produces. It's all the same milk, and you can't the tell the yield? difference, and it's all delicious. Will the gentleman yield? I'd be happy to yield to the gentleman. Okay. I also come from a dairy state, and we also want people to continue to drink milk, which we agree is very healthy. But would the gentleman disagree with me that scientists have determined quite clearly, and I think Monsanto itself would not deny, that cows injected with BST become sicker and there is a significant no. increase in mastitis? No, I will not agree with that. The I'll gentleman disagree disagrees with that. with that. I'll disagree with that strenuously. Really? Wholeheartedly. I well, I would say that the scientific evidence sick. is over. But if I may reclaim my time, I believe that the. Uh, Gentlemen have suggested that perhaps another debate is needed on this, but I will tell you this. I have visited a large dairy in my area, Prairie Farms Dairy. The milk that comes from those cows before it comes to the table is examined and tested three different times, three different times for the presence of antibiotics. And if there is any evidence, the entire load of milk is destroyed. There is a very careful testing procedure monitored by the federal government Consumers across America should understand, as the gentleman from Missouri says, that the milk that they are being given in their stores and in classrooms is healthy, safe, and wholesome. The, the gentleman from Vermont has raised other issues which we can address, but that I think we all agree on. Gentleman from New Mexico. Go to strike the last word. Gentleman's recognized for five minutes. I won't prolong the uh, argument, but I think that the gentleman from Vermont has a very uh, important uh, request to make, and that is something that we should have been doing a long time ago, is getting to the real scientific basis accurately about what is in foodstuffs, what are it, what is BST amount to, and all the rest of it. Because too many times we have those kinds of media hypes and some of the rest to fearmonger the food supply, and it's gone awry and worked our detriment for too many years. I think we ought to have a real good discussion on this and some real good fact-finding and some real good knowledge. And then also turn around and tell the American people, quit listening to these folks that are trying to scare the living bejeemonies out of you uh, over what's in the milk. And so if there is a danger, let's find it. If they're not, let's decide to go on about our business and get on with the business of being good, healthy, consuming Americans. And I'll yield to the gentleman. Thank you very much. I absolutely agree with the gentleman. We certainly do not want fear-mongering. But what we absolutely do want especially in this era when more and more pesticides and chemicals are being used, I think the American consumer does want to know absolutely and unequivocally that the product that he or she is consuming is in fact a healthy product. And I look forward to working with the gentleman 
to move in that direction. Well, I think I thank the gentleman, and I think we need to build that level of confidence, and, and I yield the balance of my time. The gentlelady from Ohio, for recognized for five minutes. Uh, I just wanted to put in a word here because I know of Mr. Sanders' concern, genuine concern about this issue, uh, not just on human health, but also on uh, dairy herds and smaller farmers who may be disadvantaged because of the uh, additional use of this particular additive. Uh, let me say, uh, Mr. Sanders, I know you had several amendments and you have kindly withdrawn them today, but in reading some of them, I think that at the same time as our committee uh, extends the offer to work with you wholeheartedly, I think some effort has to be put in at the authorizing committee level as well with the new farm bill that is coming up. And I would just say to the gentleman that uh, if you have not pursued those courses as fully as uh, you might this year, I think in the future we would be happy to to help you on that score as well okay I thank um, I yield to the gentleman I, I thank the gentlelady and that is precisely what we intend to do I think one of the major issues as I mentioned a moment ago that we want to address is the labeling issue within the authorizing committee I think there cannot be debate about whether or not the American people have the